if our cylinder bore is within tolerances, our pistons are within tolerances and there's no damage, probably the only thing we're going to need is a set of rings. When we order up a set of rings, we're going to find out that we have one ring or one little set of rings for each groove in the side of the piston. Now, I'd like to point out something to you. Imagine your mind's eye that you can see this cutaway edge of this ring, but much bigger. It would look something like this. If you'll notice, everything is fine, except there's a bevel cut in the outer edge at the top. Or you may look at it and find that you have a bevel cut at the outer edge over here. Okay. If there's a bevel in either one of them, in other words, if you don't have four square corners, okay, the instructions that come with the rings are going to tell you which way this has to go and which, which groove it goes in. Now, something else to watch for, if you can imagine that this is your ring, and I've got it here, we're going to make it considerably larger. Okay. Notice a little dimple right here. If I've got a little dimple right there in the ring, or I've got a little letter or a mark or stamp of any sort, the instructions will tell me what to do with that. It's important that we look for these bevels and these marks because the instructions are going to be counting on those to make sure they go in the right place. Now once we've got all of that sorted out, what the last thing we need to do is we need to go and stick one of the rings into one of its grooves. We need to go and find in our shop manual what the ring groove clearance is and we're going to go ahead and take and set a feeler gauge to that and we're going to feel to make sure that the ring groove clearance, the little bit of space that's left between the ring and the groove, is not beyond specifications. When it is, we can move on to the next step, which is in our next video, and that's called ring gap.